Welcome back to this week's episode of Love Your Life Coaching with me, Chris Tackett. This week I have a really exciting special guest for you, Candice Waltai. She is a um, licensed spiritual healer and a whole health educator. And she brought with her some color therapy that I am very excited to share with you. This is something that I am only newly learning and I am very excited to learn from her a little bit more about it and I think that you will find it pretty beneficial. If we have extra time, I also have some other things for her to show us. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear and see how this goes. Um, so welcome to my show, Candace. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited to talk to you a little bit about what you do. It's, what you do is exciting and innovative and interesting and I think that a lot of people don't know much about this side of wellness and, and education for health. So tell me a little bit about what you do, how you got into it, what your aim is for your clients. Okay. Um, well, I suffered from a lot of ailments, I guess you could say, growing up and especially in my late teens, early 20s, I would have chronic bronchitis, um, I had chronic migraines, I had anxiety issues, and I kept doing the same things over and over again. I was eating poorly, I wasn't really exercising, I was a smoker, um, you know, I wasn't really taking good care of myself. And when I got pregnant with my son, um, I didn't want to keep living that way. And right before then, um, I had a massive panic attack. And I was put on Paxil by my doctor. And he was like, go ahead and take the pill. And at that point, I was just like, fine, whatever will take this away. And it made me really suicidal. So I got off the Paxil. And I started doing research as to what it is that I was doing in my life that was contributing to all of this. Because the common denominator was me. And the research that I did, I realized like my favorite foods were spaghetti and nachos, especially in your early 20s when you're trying to make rent and not work three jobs. Ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so I noticed that when I took that away and I started introducing fruits and vegetables into my diet, all of a sudden I started feeling a lot better, had more energy. Well, as time went on, I hit a breaking point where I was exercising, I was running, I was dancing, I was eating well. and that just wasn't cutting it any longer. And um, I used to be an insurance agent and was really, really stressed out. And after the third time of getting fired, <laughs> I applied for a job as a chiropractic assistant in New York. Um, and uh, they hired me, even though I didn't have any experience, which was really, really awesome. And that's where I got exposed to acupuncture and chiropractic. Before then, I'd never had an adjustment but after I had my first chiropractic adjustment, my migraines went away. Um, I was introduced to the tuning forks. I think the first chiropractor I worked for had a tuning fork. Um, herbal supplements, uh, whole food supplements. I learned about applied kinesiology, all sorts of things. It's like this big, huge door just opened up. And from then on, I worked with another chiropractor, and she had the color therapy glasses and the tuning forks and got even deeper into... Um, allergy sensitivity techniques and emotional freedom techniques and it was just mind-blowing how easy it is for us to heal ourselves if we just take the time to do it. So when I moved here to Ohio, I was like, what am I going to do? Um, we moved here because of my husband's job and so I started my own business to help people get inspired to help heal themselves and trust their instincts and so that's what my business is all about is there's there's signs and there's symbols and there's there's messages everywhere and every day we hear these things in our head but we don't really listen to them and so I teach people how to get out of the way of themselves and really listen and I use things like color therapy and sound therapy and basically um, playful techniques to get back in touch with who we really are. I think that sounds amazing. <laughs> and, it, and it's inspiring to me, I think. And, and I do a lot of these things, but in a very different way. So I think that the more we, more options we have to heal ourselves and to enjoy our lives, because I really believe that that's the whole reason we're put here on this earth, is to enjoy our life and to um, play. Yeah. You know, um, a, a, a day without play 
you know? It doesn't exist. No. <laughs> Not in my world, for sure. Right. For sure, yeah. And, and if I do happen to have one of those, boy, do I feel that energy suck. Yeah. Like, like ah, oh, something's missing from my life today. Something's wrong. I'm in a funk. Yeah. And, and that's my sign that I need to go do something that I enjoy. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, share with me, she's got... A whole bunch of colored glasses here on the table that that I know that you can't see, but I'll I'll let you peek at them. Um, tell me a little bit of, about them. Um, like, let's say, well, you start. What what are they for? What do you use them for? How I do you know when to use them. Um, well, I use color and sound. It's vibrational healing, and we are all vibrating beings. And there's vibration all around us. This chair is vibrating, it's just at a slower vibration. Um, light vibrates, it's just at a higher vibration, and so is sound. And so I use the two frequencies of color and sound to bring you to your highest vibration, kind of like tuning you like a guitar or a piano. Um, as an instrument, we get played all day long. And even when we go get a massage, a chiropractic adjustment, when we go take care of ourselves, we feel fantastic, but then within a couple of minutes, hours, days, over time, we're getting played again, and we get out of tune. So I use the color glasses um, because the frequency of color is always constant, and it goes straight through your optic nerve, right to your brain, and starts bodily changes. And you, it will help reduce inflammation. It can, um, it helps you feel relaxed. It helps you feel like a rock star, honestly. Because <laughs> um, a lot of color therapists will use light, and they'll focus light on parts of your body, or they'll use different colored scarves. And while I'm using the tuning forks and the color therapy glasses to bring you to your highest vibration, I also teach you how you already do it at home. So how you decorate your house, the clothes that you wear, the songs that you listen to. You know, you might listen to Dave Matthews for a week and just be like, yes, satellite is on. And then you hear the song again and you're like, oh, satellite again. And that's because your body is done with that vibration. You've moved on. It's the same thing with tuning forks and color therapy. Wow. <laughs> it's so simple. And it, it's, <laughs> it's so simple yet I don't, know anyone in my personal life who does this not yet right <laughs> right so so I'm just I'm blown away by how simple healing really can be um, and I want to try it okay will you let yeah, me yeah yeah absolutely okay. so what I do in a session is when you first come in um, the, the sign-in form isn't really like the big long doctor's form. I basically let you just come in and make sure that you're not wearing a pacemaker, that I'm not going to ruin any frequencies that are already going on in your body. And then I just choose different colors for you. And then I educate you about what the colors mean and what I'm doing as I'm increasing your vibration to its highest point. Alright, so you so go ahead and put them on. So why did you pick yellow initially for me? Okay, so <laughs> yellow, I speak in terms of chakras or energy centers, so I'll use the terms interchangeably. Okay. Um, a chakra is an energy center that we all have, and we have seven main chakras that basically align with our endocrine system. We all have endocrine issues, mood disorders, sleep problems, so I always align it to something that we can touch and feel. Um, so the color yellow has to deal with the pancreas or the solar plexus energy center. So it's basically right here under your diaphragm. It's a lovely color I'm wearing. Yes. Um, it helps to calm your nervous system initially. So people who have anxiety are going to be drawn to varying shades of yellow. Um, it also helps with detoxification, concentration. It increases your personal power, your self-worth, your self-confidence. And it's just a really cool color. Bono wears yellow a lot. Oh, um, yeah. People who work in industries will wear amber colored glasses or yellow colored glasses. So it also helps with vision issues and it helps you see detail and finer and finer detail. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> it's in you know, I I really believe in listening to what the world is trying to tell me. And we we had talked prior to this and I said we're not going to prepare. I want this to be as authentic as, as it can be. Um, and on my way here I was thinking about the kinds of clients that I work with the most in my own practice and they're all anxiety. So one of my questions was going to be what's the best color for anxiety but you already sort of knew. Yeah. Intuitively. <laughs> 
<laughs> the thong. Uh, yeah, and the thing is, is that like each color, like you can. The way that I learned color is that different chakras or energy centers relate to different organ systems or different emotions in the body. But say this is balancing your solar plexus chakra right now. Essentially what I gave it to you is to calm the nervous system and kind of just, because I'm a bunch of nerves right now, so she's probably feeling it. Um, but say I have anxiety issues, my color, the first color I might wear is green. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it, it varies okay. with every person, but when I teach how to do color therapy or how to do sound therapy, you do have your textbook guidelines as where to start from. And then from there on, I teach people to just play, just mess around with it. Science is all about experiencing or experimenting and kind of figuring out what works and then you write it down and you try it and if it works again, well, that must be the ticket. I mean, it's the same thing with acupuncture or acupressure, things like that. People over time have just practiced and played and see what works and what doesn't. If it doesn't work, well, then you don't do it. If that herb doesn't taste good, don't eat it. So it's the same thing with color and sound. And the really cool thing about color and sound therapy is that it's integrated. It can be easily integrated into families. So kids naturally will do color and sound therapy. When you hear kids younger, I have a six and eight year old. When they start singing, just randomly, I'm like, huh, and I pay attention to the key that it's in, and I'm like, what are they tuning? And so I pay attention to what their needs are just by paying attention and listening. Huh. And the, the pictures that they color at school, like in art class, when they bring stuff home, if there is a consistent color theme that they keep bringing home within a couple of weeks, I'm like, okay, we either need to increase probiotics or I go from there and I use that as my guideline. Wow. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> and you know, the other really cool thing about this is, and I'm not against medication, but there are no suicidal side effects to color and sound therapy. You no. know, it there are no that. other side effects like, you know. Well, I mean, vibrational healing does have its own side effects, if you want to call it. Um, some people will get like a dull headache, very dull headache. Some people complain of feeling out of sorts because they can actually feel things moving, but if you're not body aware just yet, you don't know that this is actually beneficial. Um, some people go to the bathroom too much. I'll be yeah. delicate about yeah. it. Yeah. But I mean, that's it. I mean, so you have to worry about poop, headaches, and feeling out of sorts, and that's it. And it can be easily changed by listening to different music or changing your curtains in your living room. And I suppose if you're wearing yellow glasses and you start having more bowel movements, you probably needed to eliminate mm -hmm. more than you were anyways, which is yeah. different than a, a side effect of a medication. Right. You know, it's causing unnatural yeah. things for you. And I always consider if you're getting that rapid of a movement physically and it's manifested itself just by color and sound, I get excited about that. Even yeah. if it's considered too. like a, a bad side effect or something that's unwanted, it's like, but that's stuff leaving your body that has been sitting there for however long. And something as simple as wearing or seeing things from a different perspective with the glasses or listening to tuning forks or a song. That's it. That's all it takes. It's amazing to me. I'm, I've, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, but I'm still, I, it, I still get like, well, I'm, I'm over with you, it. you know, we're, we're kindred spirits, <laughs> the two of us. And we just recently met and it was immediate, you know, and, and isn't that cool when you find someone like that in your life? And I, I have to say, I've only been wearing these glasses for, what, five minutes or something? And I do. My whole body, my breathing slowed down. I'm feeling a lot calmer than I was at the start of this, which is crazy to me. <laughs> I, I, and, you know, call it placebo if you want to, whatever that is. You know, you put the thought, it works, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> you yeah, know? I'm going to change it uh, so that way you yeah. can see the different perspective. Wow. Yeah, everything's much darker. That's really interesting. That's okay. So these are are these those violet? are violet. Okay. Yeah, because there are several shades of sort of pinky purpley. That's why I asked. Oh, wow. All right. So what? So violet has to deal with the crown chakra or crown energy center. Technically, it deals with depending on what you read, it'll be the pineal or the pituitary gland, which is up in here, and it's obviously the top of our brain. So people who have hormonal issues, um, problems sleeping, 
you're going to be drawn to deep purples. People who are overreactive to their environments and very sensitive souls mm -hmm. are always going to, well, I shouldn't say always, but more often than not be drawn to cool colors like teals and violets and purples because that helps to calm the nervous system as well. Um, purple helps for you to respond to your environment. So some people have problems with the change of seasons, seasonal affective disorder, um, when the, when the seasons change into spring with high allergies, sometimes violet will help alleviate that. Nope. Uh -huh. mm. And purple is the color of royalty, but it's also the color of trusting. So a lot of times when people have anxiety issues, they have problems trusting the world. So violet or purple will help to kind of bring you back into yourself and trust your instincts and trust yourself and trust the communications you're getting from the outside world because our pineal gland responds to our external environment helps us regulate our internal temperature helps us remember when our cycles are we don't have to think about that stuff as women it just happens but when our pineal gland or our crown chakra is a little off kilter then we start having these hormonal issues that are inexplicable mm -hmm. It, it, it's interesting just the the significance of the shift from the light glasses for me personally everything was very open and very bright for me with the yellow glasses and it sort of closed in yeah a little bit with the purple I feel like it's a little bit smaller and and uh, more comfortable I, I don't know it, it was it, it's a very significant emotional shift for me well, color does that too. I mean, if you think about when you go to an art museum, how many different pieces are there and how many creations are there that one person will be drawn to a piece and one person may absolutely detest that, but then they walk down the hall and they're like, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's the same thing with color. For a while, it took me a long time to get used to this light colored pink. And I had a lot of frustration and anger hidden inside me and pink is the color that helps you deal with aggression and anger and they paint prisons this color pink to help reduce the anger in prisoners and it actually does help color psychology is amazing and I never realized that that's why I had such a distaste for pink because it makes you connect with yourself it's um it's another heart chakra color or heart energy center the other color is green and that's basically setting boundaries to external people. Um, but when, you, when you're balancing your heart chakra for the inside and getting rid of frustration and resentment and learning to forgive yourself, not necessarily others, light pink is that color. Plus it looks awesome on a lot more people than you would think. Yeah, <laughs> you do look like a rock star, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. I totally <laughs> needed it right now. I felt like I was gonna get all shaky and cry. So a lot of times when people come in, um, I'm their last resort girl because they've tried everything. So why not color and sound? Why yeah. not, right? Yeah. So a lot of times people will come in and you know, m the broken ones are my favorites because I was there and I can hold their hands. Um, and the best part is, is walking through the color therapy, there's really not a lot of explanation. You know, you just put on glasses, you're playing. Yeah. So then it feels safe. And then all of a sudden, these wild conversations, memories from childhood or long ago come out. And people don't realize that they're hanging on to this stuff. Absolutely. And it's amazing. I want to try the green ones. Do. For my heart chakra, too. We'll both wear our heart chakras. <laughs> we'll be balancing together. Yes, balance together. Oh, wow. See, and now that's a whole nother shift in sort of how I feel. I mean, it, it, it's so and it's just significant. It's just a pair of glasses and with some color. The glasses. crazy thing is, is that you can do this too. So in my sessions, I teach people how to, um, how to color and get out of the way of themselves. Um, there's an intuitive exercise that I do using crayons and paper that is so profound. Um, but it's so simple at the same time. But you can use construction paper. People will look at, you can look at a computer screen. You know, it's not best because you're getting the electromagnetic frequencies off a computer, but if that's what you have, then use it. Right. The same thing with the sound therapy, listening to stuff on YouTube, binaural beats. Go explore and see what works for you. Yeah, and, and speaking of sound, can will you show our viewers what a tuning fork is? Because sure. I, you know, 
they may not really know exactly what we're talking about here. Absolutely. Okay, so um, there's all sorts of tuning forks out there. Um, what I have is a chakra set, a chakra balancing set. So they're all different sizes. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear this through the microphone. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Um, but this is for the root chakra. So this is a longer vibration. And all you do is strike a tuning fork. I have a hockey puck that I use. Um, if you do get tuning forks, I know that there's stuff out there that says you can tap on your knee. Please don't. Just oh. find a mallet or something rubber or something hard or softer. Play with different textures, but just not your kneecaps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that seems... I don't know. Yeah. Common sense. Well, you think. <laughs> so, um, what I do is I, when I, I mean, I do touch therapy, I do reflexology, but as far as color and sound therapy goes, I don't touch you at all. So I would just go in your energy field and go where you would need the tuning for. And funnily enough, oftentimes it is um, people's knees because we hold a lot of old emotions in our joints, whether it's our wrists, our elbows, our shoulders, our hips. So a lot of times I will go into people's joints and creaky joints that you have, you might be hanging on to some old stuff. So I teach you exercises, how to get rid of that stuff even when you're not with me. Wow. Yeah. That's so beneficial. I would so much rather you put tuning forks around my joints than have to take medications all the time. And that's not to say you don't have to take them anymore, but right. if I could get some relief and some healing for my aches and pains with sound and yeah. color, that's so worth a try. So this is a different, this is the equivalent of oh, the throat chakra. It's very different. So this helps with throat issues. Like the other day I was in the car with uh, my husband's parents and we had gone to um, the Rockin' in the Court in Medina. It was awesome. I'd never been there with all the little um, local artists playing in people's yards. There was a whole oh, lot wow. of stimulation, a whole lot of noise, but it was great. Um, then I got this weird funky cough like out of nowhere. And that's when I knew it was time to go because I'm sensitive to a lot of different frequencies and when you've got a lot of people and lots of colors and lots of sounds, it's like, ah, after about 45 minutes I was maxed out. And then I had this weird cough and I always carry my tuning forks with me wherever I go. I made fun of all the time, but this is my medicine. So this is my Advil, I guess you could mm -hmm. say. And I was in the car and I started using the tuning fork on my throat as I was having, having this weird tickle in my throat and it went away. Like, I opened the window so that nobody else would get the weird energies coming off of me. But it was amazing. And my mother-in-law is just looking at me like, that's pretty cool. I'm like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just, it's fascinating. It's so neat. All right, I want to try red. Okay. I got to play. Oh, of course. All right. So, so red's for typically for the root chakra. So okay. that's the energy center that deals with the adrenal glands. So that's our fight or flight response. Um, it helps to reduce inflammation. So people who suffer from arthritis will tend to either gravitate towards green or red to help balance out inflammatory symptoms. Um, that was this first tuning form. Yeah, too, right? that's this four. Okay. So it's a low sound. So if you think of chakras or wavelengths, if you want to start doing your own color healing, think about a rainbow. So the rainbow, you can definitely see the long wavelength of red, and then as it goes down, you can barely see violet, right? Well, you really can't see your intuition. You just know that it's there. Well, we know that that violet, that little part, is there. But we can kind of see it, we kind of can't, depending on like the way the earth is turned or the way the clouds are or where the sun is. But you can always see red. And see, that's the thing, is that red is a color of trust. So trusting your primal instincts, trusting that your body knows exactly what it needs to do without doing it. Muscle memory comes from that, too. So if we have this push-pull inside, red helps to balance that. When I get um, motion sickness, on long car rides, because I'm so sensitive to vibration, I will tend to get motion sickness and I'll get nauseated. I wear red glasses for about 20 minutes and I feel fantastic because it's a grounding color. It brings you back down to earth. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is so <laughs> cool. It's just amazing. I love it too. I, I'm just I'm so excited by this whole perspective that's very different from any of my other episodes. If you've watched some of my other ones, you know, I talk very much about changing your thoughts, changing the way that you think about things changes your perspective and ultimately leads to joy and happiness. But here's some other ways to change the way you think about things. 
in the way that you heal your body, in the way that you heal your old experiences, and I, I just, oh my gosh. Well, that's the thing, too. I think that's how you even came about and, and talked with me, is because my message is to, I want to help you learn how to unthink wellness. We have it in our heads that we need to eat a certain way, and we need to exercise this many minutes, and this is what's going to make us okay. But we never just stop and just listen and just breathe and just know that whatever our bodies are telling us to do, go do. People tell me I need to go run or exercise. I don't like doing that, but I'm in love with belly dancing, and that's my exercise. I can belly dance for days, maybe not the best belly dancer, but you know what I mean? That's my activity. But kids, when they're younger, if you watch kids, and I've learned so much from my son and daughter, they don't think about what they're doing. They invent these games and they just run and they go play. They're not thinking about, I should do 45 sit-ups today. Really? It's not that It's not that hard. Yeah. It really is if we just unthink yeah. and just do yeah. and just be. I mean, a lot of us do a lot. Sometimes it's just a matter of just being. Yeah. Just like we are right now and playing. I mean, when you get a room full of adults, um, playing with glasses and playing with tuning forks, it's really cool to see the energy shift, not just for the healing component, but just to see the light in their eyes. They get that glimmer that kids get like, what's this? Yeah. And we don't get that enough, I think. We're no. so unindated by paperwork and bills and life and running our kids here and there. And being adults. And being, yeah, adulting. <laughs> you know, there are, don't we all have those times where we're just done adulting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and, and we need to play. Let yeah. it out a little bit. I just, it's so fun. Oh my gosh. So, um, where can people find you if they want to learn more about what you do? Well, they can, they can come here. This is my office. <laughs> um, I'm in Peninsula. Um, but to go onto my website, it's www.candiswalti.com. C A N D Y C E W A L T I. I feel like that's a mouthful. It is. Um, but what I've done with my website is I've created a community. <laughs> Apparently, we went over time. That's all right. Time's up. Time's um, up. But I've, I've tried to create a community in which we can all learn from one another. So go to that website, visit groups, and see if there's anything that resonates with you. And you can always email me from there, too. My email is my name at gmail.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for one. I mean, I think most valuable to me was allowing me to experience some of this myself. Yeah. Um, and thank you for sharing with my, with my um, watchers. That didn't sound right. <laughs> your watchers. My, my your viewers. Fans. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Yeah. I, see, I already feel a little bit more kid like than I usually do. <laughs> I'm all giggly and silly now. That's it's good. Kind of cool. I, it was, it's a different balance for me to be in. I thank you so much for sharing with me, and I I hope that we can maybe collaborate on something again because yeah. I think that people are really going to take a lot from what you offered here. I so. hope so. I'm grateful to be here. Thank you so <laughs> much.